today on Creating Joy, I'm going to teach you how to do an easy and a clean way of cutting foam for your next sewing project. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to cut the foam that you have for your next project. So I have some 3D Christmas people that I'm going to be making and I needed to find a way to cut foam in a way that wasn't going to leave a big mess. I've had friends that they suggested using an electric turkey knife and they shared their experience of how they cut it and it shredded it and it went everywhere and they had pieces that were left over from months afterwards. I'm like, oh, I don't really want that in my sewing room. So I started investigating and I found this online on Amazon. It's called an electric foam cutting pen. So this is something that I purchased and I decided to get the, the longer one. And so what it does, we're gonna plug it in and it heats up. And the, one of the things I found out is it can get a little stinky so you might want to do it outside I did it in the in my house um, the first time but I am gonna be moving outside to um, to finish this video to show you how it works okay so before we move outside I want to show I have these heat erasable markers that I got from Madame So and I found the blue works the best on my phone. And I am going to actually draw on my phone where I want to cut. I'm gonna use the corner. I want my foam to be four inches, one, two, three, four, by four inches. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down to meet right in the middle. So you can see my four inches. But then when I, what I'm gonna do more is I'm going to bring it down the side. So when I am cutting with my foam, with, when I'm cutting the foam with my foam cutter, I can actually see where I'm going. I'm going to also write it on the other side. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm going to measure the one, two, three, four, and bring it down one, two, three, four in the middle okay so that way I am all ready to use my my electric cutter when we go outside okay so let's move on outside so we don't have a stinky smell in the house okay so I already cut one piece but I'm gonna show you my next piece that I'm cutting okay so you can see right here is our blue line and we take our pen and there's a little on off button. We just turn it on. And the directions say that all you have to do is wait 30 seconds and it's hot enough to start working. So what we're going to do first is just poke holes along the line and then go back and go slowly and connect the dots and go out. And then we're going to turn it over and do the same thing. Um, we don't need to poke the holes anymore. We're just going to gently slide it and it's like slicing butter almost. It's just it's a beautiful tool. Okay, so it is ready. So I'm just going to go along the lines and just slowly push it in and it just goes down as if it's melting butter. If you want to just try to Cut. I tried cutting last time and I found this to be an easier method by poking the holes first and then connecting it afterwards. So now you see my blue line right here. I'm going to bring it and I'm going to bring it right along the line and it's just going to melt through. And just connect. You just hold it and let it melt as 
you're pushing down, doing a little up and down motion. You find that the, the tip is a, a lot hotter than the, the very top right here isn't quite as hot as the bottom is. Okay, so it's gone through almost all of it. So now I can go through the back and just finish what didn't get done. There we go. Okay, so there I have my little cube for my cube person that I'm going to be making. So when you're done, make sure that you take it and turn it off. Take your stand that it comes with. And one thing I didn't show, when it comes, it's, it's flat. And you just take this and you lift it up to make the stand, okay? And then you can just set it in and rest it. And now it can cool off. So it doesn't burn anyone. Hey, thank you so much for joining me this week on Creating Joy. Remember to hit the button to get notifications and subscribe and see what we have coming out next week.